started attending the gym, so there's a long way for me. So hey, what the hell, right? That's nice. Good, good, very nice. I'm first. My name is Sumukhi, and I'm from Bangalore. I lived in Bangalore for almost eight years. Thank you. And uh, now I've moved very recently. I'm gonna in a month. I'm moving to Bombay. So, अगर ताली बज जाती तो मुझे ऐसे थोड़ा अच्छा लगता है. इन्हें मेरी पेट में कुछ कुछ हो रहा है वैसे भी. And moving to Bombay is a very big step for me. I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna live? But it's all, it's all figuring out. And I'm personally a big fan of beautiful people. I love beautiful people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I love beautiful people. Cause they no, no. I'll tell you this. How does it feel? Then, no. When you do this, can you feel it more here? How it's like? I mean, look at me. I look like a love child of Maya Hoti and Jay Lalita. Little bit, no. Are they thinking? No, Sabha, I saw that. वो तो पक्का है सर वही मैं सोच ही रहा था कि जयलिता मैडम हार्ड रॉक कैफे कैसे आ गई नहीं सर नहीं मैं अपने ही पापा की बेटी हूँ The Fifty Shades of Grey kind, or you know, the Amar Chitra Katha types, because then I'll speak to you accordingly. Now tell me, what kind of books do you read? Depends. Depends on your mood. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite book? Favorite book? Like, oh my God, wow! Love, ah, oh, love stories. We all love love stories, right? You also like love stories. I love love stories, especially love stories with happy endings. The best. Just kahi to likhne ko mil jata hai, kahi to. Like at least it's available in the books. Why not? Very nice. Are you with your friends? Yeah, all three of your friends. Very nice. What's uh, what's your name? Put that phone down and tell me what's your name. Oh, live. Then keep it. Don't don't put it down. Hi, sir. Santa Cruz West. Bas <laughs> abhi. What am I eating, sir? Uh, shut up. <laughs> sir, what the fuck is eating? It's so hard. It's okay. So tell, uh, uh, okay, friend next to you, what's your name? Asavari. Whoa. Asavari, what does that mean? Asavari is a rock from music. Are you happy with your name? I'm not happy with my name. I'll tell you why. But yeah, good. Dude, my actual name is Shangamal, by the way. Yeah, my name is Shangamal. My mom's like uh, it's tumhari nani ka naam shagamal tha like okay it was fine to tumhara naam bhi shagamal hai like okay let's just change this so i at least had the opportunity to change my name the way few people who get stuck with names right because there are such nice names like jia tia atia like you you hear them only you're like wow great future well done perfect super aapka future great hai it's like you know if you have names like abhi thi abhishek sundaram bhan abhi to kuch alam bhan What are you going to call? I'll beat you. No, they are. They're legit names of people that I wish you never meet, Asami. What do you do, Asami? You're a student and an intern. Where do you study? What are you studying? You're studying BMM. What's BMM? B B B Bachelor's of Business Management. Mass Media. Okay, guilty. सबसे होती है. Not like the this is the cotton wool के bowl guys. Okay, nice. And where do you stay here? Thane. Arey, arey. High school musical three. She's done duets with the likes of Shan, Javed Ali, Arijit Singh. You know her from various Bollywood movies. She's going to sing us one song and then come back later on. Come on, start building applause. Let's do this. Woman making wonderful music. Risha Dutta, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Thank you for that wonderful introduction, Veer. And thank you for having me on board, Trisha, Veer, Sam, everyone. And are you guys having a good time? Okay. Before I begin with the set, a huge round of applause for Samukhi. I think she was brilliant, wasn't she, guys? Okay. So generally, I do a lot of talking before singing, but we are a little short on time, and so I'll just switch to what I do best. We are doing a classical bandish fusion, and I hope you like the rendition of our song. And uh, this is Rag uh, Dimpalas. I hope you like our take on it. And uh, it's great for Rahman, for a lot of big music directors. 
and he's here for me today. Thank you, Vinny, for being with me. Okay. guitarist for the evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> National Award in 2005 for Best Documentary for a wonderful film called Fiddlers on the Thatch, uh, which raised money for children in the Gandhi Ashram in Kalimpong. Uh, this is about children who got a consignment of broken violins and now have formed an orchestra full of street children that play Tchaikovsky and Beethoven in classical music. Because of Trisha's wonderful documentary being screened across the world, that ashram continues to survive and raise money for children every day that make music. So you can give a round of applause for that. I would love to talk to you more about her wonderful book, ladies and gentlemen, but Trisha is going to do that already. The one thing I will tell you is this is my eldest sister who when I was eight years old and had no pocket money, would take five rupees out of her 10 rupees, which was her weekly pocket money and give it to me every single week because she knew I had a crush on a girl and I wanted to buy her a chocolate. Uh, so that is my sister and I hope you enjoy her book. Ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause for Trisha Das. Hello. Hi guys, I'm the author. And so those were three performers and I don't know how to perform. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm going to tell you about the book. Um, the first thing I'd like to tell you is that uh, it's about four women from the Mahabharat, Draupadi, Kunti, Randhari, and Amba. And the Mahabharat ended thousands of years ago, and now they've been sitting in heaven for thousands of years, and they're bored out of their minds. Because heaven is basically for men. There's nymphs, and there's lots of things for them to do, but there's nothing for the women in heaven. So they're bored. They want a holiday and they want to visit the earth. So they ask Krishna and he allows them a 30 day and 30 night vacation in Delhi. And so the story is about them coming down to Delhi and having the adventure of not one but two lifetimes and sort of a second coming of age. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of laughs and it's got a good message. We're gonna do some, uh, some reading from some passages but uh, in order to help me do that, I'm going to invite someone on stage, someone that you might have heard of, and someone who embodies the very essence of these women, their strength, their intelligence, their kick-assness, their unapologetic awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> 